Hey guys, everyone knew that the new items were going to affect competitive Dota a lot, but I wanted to check in after just a couple of tournaments and see how much they actually affected the competitive scene. So I have some statistics for 6.84B competitive Dota as well as just regular 6.84. And first I have some premises and assumptions. The data was taken from two sets. Set A is the Summit 3 LAN Finals, which consists of 37 total games. And set B, which is 6.84 and 6.84B competitive games parsed on that Dota. And that number of games is going to be 363 games as of May 19th, 2015. All this data was parsed at and imported from www.datdota.com and excellent resources an excellent resource for statistics. Moonshard and Mango are not listed because some may have been omnom nom during the game and don't show up in the stats. And I couldn't figure out a way to get them. They aren't picked up that much anyways, at least Moonshard isn't, so not terribly important for this video. The first big one is going to be Glimmer Cape. It was picked up 15 in 37 possible games at TS3 with a 73.3% win rate. And 300 in 363 possible games, that's a very high number, 80%-ish, uh, uh, built in 6.84 with a 61.7% win rate. And of course, there are going to be confounding variables. For those of you that don't know what confounding variables are, uh, it just means that win rate for an item doesn't necessarily correspond with how good an item is. For a good example would be Rapier. If you looked at the number, uh, the win rate for Rapier, it's obviously going to be, at least most of the time, a winning team that is just completely stomping and they want to have some fun and YOLO with Rapier. And a very small percentage is going to be a team that is very far behind that is going to pick up a Rapier uh, in a last dish effort. But it's going to be like 90, at least 95 to 95% to 5% in terms of those ratios, and I would not be surprised if Divine Rapier had like at least a 98% win rate. Does that mean if you get a 90, if you get a Rapier, you're going to win 98% of the time? No, it's because of confounding variables such as the team that's going to win is most more likely to pick up Rapier because they're in YOLO mode. Uh, so anyways, confounding variables, I'll probably list them for each of these items. In 6.83, heroes based on heavy magic damage such as Batrider, Lion, Lina, Shadowfiend, and Zeus were quite popular. Most have quickly fallen off, uh, pretty much all of these except for Shadowfiend. And as we transition from 6.83 to 6.84, a lot of the picks are still going to be the same for the first few games for each team. And... Uh, because of that, if you pick Zeus, people are going to get Glimmer Cape and just own you when you try and burst him down. Same with Lina. You pick up Lina without a Scepter, and you Yule someone, and you try and dump your LSA Dragon Slave Laguna combo, they'll just Glimmer Cape it, and it'll do, like, 200 damage. So, that's one confounding variable. Another one is that Gyro and Quap are the most popular 6.84 heroes and do their fair share of magic damage. Compare this to Juggernaut and Troll, which were very popular in 6.83 they almost did a hundred percent physical damage uh you obviously don't need glimmer cape versus these heroes uh the jug and troll but you do kind of need it versus gyro and quap so it's because of the current uh popular heroes and competitive that also lead to glimmer cape being a very popular item and if something like zeus or first pick every single game i'm sure you see glimmer cape even more than uh, 15 out of 37 or 363. So Glimmer Cape seems like it's pretty darn good this patch. Um, also another confounding variable as it is going to be for all of these um, all of these items is that better teams are going to pick up better items. So if an item is better, um, a better team is going to pick it up and they're probably going to win more often. So that's also one that you can't really avoid. Next one is going to be Solar Crest. 12 were built at the Summit 3, at, again, out of 37 games, 83.3% win rate, 104 built in 6.84 with around a 70% win rate. And there are a lot more confounding variables for this one. Uh, Visage was banned and picked in 100% of the games at the Summit 3. And Solar Crest is very good on Visage as well as versus Visage. Uh, there was also a high prevalence of Drow strategies, which is pure physical damage from her. So it's going to be very good at taking Roche as well as defensively. Uh, versus a drought as well as offensively with a drought ranger. High uses of abyssal back armor is going to be more useful. Very little split push. There was far far more five man onto the high ground, which is where one of your stronger carries being on the high ground with a solar crest tank is going to be a very effective way to breach that barrier. 
Also, winning teams have more gold, so they get to spend more items on luxury items, such as Solar Crest. And winning teams also initiate pushes more, where Solar Crest really shines. No pun intended. Um, also, Glimmer Cape and Solar Crest. Glimmer Cape around 2,000 gold, Solar Crest a little bit more. Uh, the games were very, very short at the Summit 3, and shorter games mean people aren't going to be building like three rapiers and like satanics and things like that. They're going to be building like two to 3,000 gold items, another confounding variable, unfortunately, for this video. Uh, mechanism, not an item that is new in 6.84, but an item that has received a little bit of love in terms of his upgrade. Uh, and how teams interact with the item. 39 built at the Summit 3 out of 37 games. So that averages more than one per game with a 61.5% win rate and 332 built around a 90% build rate um, and a 55% win rate. So this item did get nerfed in 6.84C and none of the other items did. And now you probably know why. It was built at like on average, at least once a game. That is just absurd for a 2,000 gold item that isn't Blink Dagger. Uh, so that is just crazy, and I thought that Solar Crest and Glimmer Cape were a little bit ridiculous, but they aren't actually built as much as Mech. So now I'm not that surprised that Mech was significantly nerfed in the patch, and based on the variables here, it looks like Glimmer Cape is also probably going to get another nerf stick on top of the mana nerf as well as the less magic resistance uh, nerf and solar crest maybe a little bit after glimmer cape anyways comparisons prior to previous patches 91.4 percent pickup rate in 6.84 and only a 75 percent pickup rate in 6.83 that is actually quite astounding so you have like eight and a half percent games that didn't actually pick it up in 6.84 and in 6.83 was 25 percent more games so you have three times the games uh in 6.83 where it wasn't picked up in 6.84 uh, just based on percentages confounding variables absurdly short average game length at ts3 um, and strategies highly focused on winning lanes and taking towers as a team where mech is really really strong um, and there were of course some other items 6.84 stats lotus orb wasn't built that often 45 built in 363 games octarine core silver edge also a pretty low number guardian griefs 55 built i think this item had like an 80 percent win rate and bots 2.0 11 built uh moon shard mango not enough uh sample size pretty much for any of these items to have an a clue as to whether the item is good or an item is bad. Bot seems like a very luxury item that won't actually have that much of an effect on win rate, but these items still in unexplored territory and we still don't know. The competitive players don't know, the pro players they sometimes get it, but it's just very difficult to know when the item is really good and when they are. And of course the items are far more expensive than the other items. Glimmer Cape, Mech, and Solar Crest all less than 3,000 gold. These items are all above 4,000 gold. So once the average game times get longer, once the teams start playing more, we might actually see some of these 4,000 plus gold items built a little bit more. So we still have to wait for a larger sample size to draw a conclusion from those. So again, as with any sort of statistic, you should take it with a grain of salt and make sure you always know like what like correlation does not equal causation and you should always be aware of confounding variables to see what factors can mess with the numbers that you're given uh, and i think that's a very important part of statistics so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video i definitely foresee more teams picking up glimmer cape and solar crest in the patch and mech will definitely see a drop after that 45 second cd to 65 second cooldown nerf please subscribe at merlini Dota on YouTube if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Be back soon.